you know the the, the little uh, the little detours that you take in life. You know, you're you're over here planning this, doing that, working on this, and yeah, you know, you you, you got eight million things to do. Well, I I mean, it's it's kind of uh, cliche to say. I mean, if if you didn't know, Peter Jackson was it George? Was it Peter Jackson? I think it was Peter Jackson. But uh, the the Lord of the Rings guy, his dream, childhood dream, was always to direct King Kong. And he couldn't get it. He couldn't get the movie finished. He was in the middle of it and ran into stops. I don't know the details. Do your homework. I think it involved not having enough money. Uh, Most things in life do involve not having enough money when people change their plans, whether they say so or not. Uh, But he, whatever, he ran into, you know, Lord of the Rings was a detour for him. Lord of the Rings was a detour. Peter Jackson had to go do Lord of the Rings because it would make money and get things going so that he could finish King Kong. I, I think Viggo Mortensen wanted to go say goodbye to Jackson, but he couldn't because Jackson was already in his meeting planning to finish and continue with, well, continue and finish in proper order. King Kong. I don't, and look, I mean, in a hobby run, I'm sorry. That's the Chinese name for the Hobbit. The Hobbit was, uh, I, maybe for the sake of completeness. I don't. I mean, you know, Jackson's not not gonna be one movie man. I mean, I, I'm not gonna speak for him. I haven't interviewed him, but just Lord of the Rings was a detour, and it was in the pro, it was in the middle of him trying to. It, it sort of happened in the middle of King Kong. Life life does all these interesting things. George, what? No, I'm over here in Asia. No, I watched all three screenplays of The Hobbit on Chinese TV. So I remember, I've talked about it more. I cannot talk about The Hobbit with my friends, George. You're here. You can see that. I know. So why do you got it? I know. I call it Habirun more than I call it anything else so that the people around me and the people that I saw it with and the place that I saw it can understand what I'm talking about. I... You wanted the people in Reed Rapids to hear me say that even though they already knew that and were worried about other people not saying Okay. All right. So, for those of you in Reed Rapids, you heard me inform all the other people that you think don't know what's going on. You know, it, it would be easy to get if you just went over to FromAsiaWithLove.net and got a subscription and you'd know what life is like over here. But that's another story. I detract. I refuse to talk about my life in Asia. I refuse to talk about politics I have other places I deal with those things. And I want to tell you today, whatever it is, whatever it is you're working on and you get, you get distracted, you get interrupted, that's all right. Most of the times, the, the things that we do when we're interrupted or the, the detours we have to take in order to get done what we wanted to get done in the first place. Most of the time, these things are actually the things that we need to be doing. Uh, well, Star Trek Voyager was in one enormous detour. Uh, you know, that was, you know, you had the original Star Trek where, you know, it was a wagon train to the stars, as I believe uh, uh, Roddenberry called it. And then you had the next generation where they're smarter and greater and better than everything in the universe, uh, or at least the, the Alpha Quadrant. Uh, <laughs> and, and then you got Deep Space Nine back out in the, it's the Outpost, when you, the Outpost series again. And uh, as it turns out, the Outpost wasn't so unimportant. It wasn't so out there. And, and then we had Voyager. The entire series was a detour. They got, they got lost. And they're trying to find their way back. And in the process, it, it's, it's worth uh, reality TV in some people's minds. What you do, the, the detours you take in life, don't underestimate them. Don't, don't belittle them. Don't get too frustrated about the fact that you can't finish your plans. I remember uh, this summer I worked at Spring Hill. It's a, uh, I mean, maybe you haven't heard of it. It's only the largest camp in North America. Uh, 
But the summer that I worked up at Spring Hill, I, I rode around in the, in the truck with one of the guys that, that did maintenance there. And he's on his radio always talking. I, I'd go around. I'm supposed to go help him with this. And he'd say, Jess, this is my life every day. I never get done what I'm supposed to. I'm just, I always run around and help people with this and help people with that and, and put out fires all day. And I end up getting done a lot of really important stuff that, 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 you know, we never talk about. I just, I, he said, Jess, I never do what I'm supposed to do. I get done a lot of other important stuff that never comes up instead. And that's my life. That's my, and I've, I watched it happen more than once. And it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's a handyman's life. So, uh, no, continue your projects. I mean, I, I you know, that's, of course, you, you know, Jackson did finish King Kong and did a good job, you know, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings gave him the fame, gave him the money, gave him, you know, the experience, whatever, you know, life, life rarely happens how we plan it, but instead it happens how, how it needs to happen. And just remember that, just remember that. I had, I just want to say this. I'm not going to talk about politics. I already talked about it over at Pacific Daily Times. I had an absolute blast today writing the story about Trump and his WWE video. I had so much fun. It it really was, I mean, I enjoy writing those editorials every single week. I love predicting the future and watching it come true time and again. But I really had fun with this one today. I was very proud of it. So go over. It's on YouTube. It's, it's on podcast stuff. Whatever your media, wherever you found, wherever you're listening to this, you know, it, the, the Symphony uh, editorial, Symphony is the name of, of the editorial I call it. It's, I, I really had fun with it. Go listen to it. I had fun with it. I, I'm well humored about the things in life. You know, everyone's all excited and serious about too many things. And, and I just, you know, enjoy the detours. I enjoy the journey. I have fun with this stuff. Uh, Obama. I had fun with him. I did not like a single thing he ever did, but I wasn't freaked out. It, it was a detour. Detours ain't bad. So enjoy your detours and, and finish this. stuff. No, I mean, I've been working on VERC, my, my computer coding project, VERC, with, uh, with Ubuntu. I've been over working on it. By the way, I think it's ubports.com. You can go check it. Ubports. They're continuing the Ubuntu desktop for or the, the Ubuntu. It's called a whatever. It's a graphic interface. For the user, they're continuing that on phones. Go check it out. You can still get Ubuntu on the phone. Shuttlesworth, Shuttlesworth had to drop the project. He was losing money. You know, Mark Shuttlesworth, the guy that that owns Canonical, the the Ubuntu company, the the number one Linux in the world. He was doing this, wanted to get user interface stuff, big, massive detour, ran out of money. Now, You've got Ubuntu desktop running on your phone and another company is running it. You never know. You never know where your unanticipated detours are going to lead and help change the world. I should probably get to the point. The problem with the world isn't money. It's fairness. Life isn't fair. It's extra kind to rich people and extra mean to poor people. What can we do? Jesus said that the poor would always be among us. He didn't give them money. He healed them to give them justice. So did his disciples in Acts. Isaiah 11.4 says that Jesus is the judge who gives justice to the poor. So don't love money. Don't hate money either. Just give justice to the poor. Use your money to give justice to the poor and to make other people give justice to the poor. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.